Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnities.org. Today we're going to be continuing with propositional logic, looking at the rules of implication, looking at something that is the opposite of modus ponens, called modus tollens. Let's take a look at some examples. So, if Napoleon had won the Battle of Waterloo, he would have conquered the whole world. Napoleon did not conquer the whole world, therefore, Napoleon did not win the Battle of Waterloo. If Don Quixote was completely sane, Cervantes' seminal work would have been boring. Cervantes' seminal work was not boring, therefore Don Quixote was not completely sane. As you can see, the idea of modus tollens is to deny the consequent, deny the second part of a statement, which will allow us to deny the first part, the antecedent of an implication. It's important to note that if you deny the first part, the antecedent of an implication, you're not allowed to deny the consequent, or if you have affirm the consequent, the second part of an implication, you're not allowed to affirm the first part. Just a point. Let's take a look at the truth tables. So, P implies Q, not Q, therefore not P, is basically what most modus tones is. If we fill in the truth tables under each of these premises and the conclusion, we discover that the only time that the premises are true is when the conclusion is also true, so this is a valid form of argument. Modus tollens is going to be represented by MT. There's a lot of other rules of implication, rules of replacement we're going to get into here, but first, we're going to take a look at a few problems here, where we can use only those four rules of inference we've learned so far in order to take from the premises presented, prove the conclusion. Try these on your own, or check them out in my next video. Watch a new video every single day for a hundred days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.